guys, this is Transformer Geek for Life, and here's my two-part review of Transformers Revolt Tech, Megatron, and Starscream. Now, both of these guys come from the line of Revolt Tech, which if any of you guys do not know, which are action fig, I don't know if you call them action figures, but they only got, they don't transform, like, the Transformers guys don't transform, but they are super poseable by by the use of these revolt revolter joints. I do not know revolt tech joints. I'll just call them that. And they snap to let you do a lot, almost like they almost have like 360 on everything. Well, I guess they might. Well, except for the feet. Never mind. Anyway, so I'll start off with second in command Starscream, who is very nice, and based off of the I believe it's Pat Lee designs of Starscream and yeah, the design the Transformer designs by Pat Lee. Anyway, so he is very nice, very comic book slash cartoon accurate. And you see all these gray ball joints, which are the revolt, revolt tech ball things. Anyway, he have a... Wow, this camera's not good with close-ups. Anyway, there's his face, which is nice. The articulation, um... Might as well just... Show off all the joints. And then later on Megatron, his head, his head goes left, out, or er, forward, back, not left or right though, but it does rotate, it can rotate 360, but these air vent things are in the way, he's got waist, well he kind of got waist, the little cockpit is in the way. Goes forward and back, which is nice. The arms, they rotate in out. The null ray cannons, they they go 360 degrees and they come off, which is nice. Put it back on. The elbows, they go forward and back and rotate 360 degrees and the fist just rotate 360 degrees the legs forward back in and out you have to twist the ball joint though knees bend to that point and his feet go forward up and they go left and right so he can have pretty good poses If I can get him to stand. Okay, now he's being a pain in the butt. I won't show off that he's got really good possibility, but. There we go. Something like that. Yeah, you can see his feet bend so he can stand cool like that. And for his um extras he comes with, he comes with. He has his two fists, but he also has a hand that is folding up, a finger that is finger that points, and he's got his third hand, which also comes with a little Megatron pistol, which this pops off his scope, and this part, the shoulder rest I guess pops off, and it slides down his hand, which is why they made that separate. And you can take off Starscream's this, which we, they have this white pegs, and that which plug into Starscream's arm, like that. So now Starscream officially is holding Megatron. And he also comes with these three pieces, this, that, and the ball joint, and together they form a display sand for Starscream which looks like that 
and then there's a peg on his back. Oh, there's a peg there, and there's a hole in his butt. And you attach that, which makes Starscream basically f look like he's flying. So, which is nice because it's playing cool light. And get rid of these. Now he can look like he's flying or shooting Autobots. There, which is cool. And there's also a couple pegs on the bottom here, which you can, and there's holes on the bottom of his feet where you can just attach them there. So that's Starscream. And then for Megatron, who I guess is a lot better since he's the Decepticon leader. He's got he's got an extra joint on his neck, which is nice. And his head actually can fully rotate 360 degrees without it without it popping off. And these are different kinds of little joints. They're the same but smaller and gray. Snap that back in. And his neck's on backwards. Well, that ain't good. And popped off his head. Come on! Do 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 do. Don't mind me plugging someone's head back in. And of course, he's got the same amount of rotation, which he actually has 360 degrees at the waist instead of Starscream, who had that nose cone in the way. So he can do as much as Starscream can also. And he has his fusion cannon, which is not removable because I'm not even going to try because someone already did a review that it's not supposed to come off. And it's very nice as well. You can also get him in good poses. You hear those clicking sounds at the joint. So, which, it is very nice as well. I don't know if you can get a good zoom of his head. Yeah, that's good enough. And for his accessories, he also comes with a second hand. Which, the head on his, the head that's on the body is kind of like a closed face. And then for the second head, it's more like an open mouth. Which, this is also a Pat Lee design thing for, I guess it's IDW Comics or something like that. And he also comes with three hands as well. He has a open-handed fist, a trigger, a trigger hand for I don't know what reason, and then the second, the other hand that opens up. So yeah, having these two, which is awesome, got them from Big Bad Toy Store. I recommend them to buy all your toys and stuff. Which I got these in very good condition, box wise, and everything. I do not have Optimus Prime, the Revoltech Optimus Prime, or Rodimus versions, which sucks, but I was going to get Optimus, but I don't. Ha I didn't have enough money at the time. I might get them sometime. And what's nice is, like, once you got these two, you can be like, Decepticons, transform! <laughs> And then he grabs on the star and then he goes on Starscream and Starscream starts shooting Autobots without the scope. So now he can't see a good direct hit of where Optimus is. The blow his dang head off. No! Oh no, where'd the scope? Oh there it is! Get it! <sighs> Do not like that. It's kinda loose though, but whatever. I like it. Yeah, anyway, like I was saying, so, gosh darn it, oh well, whatever, I highly, re highly recommend these guys, these guys are nice, full posability, and all that good stuff, talk to you guys later, bye.